Hello everybody, welcome to another lesson by me, Miss Pythagoras. In this lesson, I will explain analytical geometry, more specifically how to convert the equation of a circle to center radius form by completing the square. This is lesson 3 of 6. Have you subscribed yet? You can also visit my website onlinemaths.co.za. The link is in the comments below. There you will find all the chapters in the syllabus. Let's start with the maths. Question. Write the following in center radius form and give the coordinates of the center of the circle. Now, first of all, there's some steps that we will follow. Step one. We will take the constant to the right hand side. So the constant here is plus 14. It walks across and it becomes negative 14. Step two, group X and Y and leave a gap. So that means you will write all the terms that contain an X together and all the Y's, all the terms that contain a Y together. Therefore, it becomes x squared minus 6x with a gap plus y squared plus 10y a gap equals negative 14. Your next step, number three, is to complete the square. Now, to complete the square, there's a little formula, b over 2 squared. Remember, this formula is not on the formula sheet. So then... You will use the b over 2 squared formula to complete the square. Now let's deal with x first. Where do you find b? b is the coefficient of x. In other words, the number in front of x. And in this case, it's negative 6. Therefore, in b's place, we will substitute negative 6 divided by 2. Negative 3 squared is equal to 9. Then step 4 says add numbers both sides. So then you will take the plus 9 and you add it there in your gap. And what you do on the left, you do on the right. You will also add your number on the right hand side. Then x squared minus 6x plus 9. Those three terms, the trinomial there, that is what you will write as a perfect square. And that as a perfect square is x minus 3 squared. And please note, the number inside the bracket here, x minus 3, is the number inside the bracket on this side just before you square it. Therefore, it's x minus 3 squared. That's the perfect square. So in terms of y, we still need to find uh, complete the square. There's the little formula that's going to help you, b over 2 squared. Where do we find b? b is the coefficient of y, the number in front of y, together with its sign. Therefore, it's plus 10 over 2 squared, plus 10 over 2 is plus 5, squared is 25. Step 4, add the numbers both sides. Therefore, you will add there in your gap plus 25 on the left. What you do on the left, you do on the right. You add 25 there. Then, y squared plus 10y plus 25, the trinomial there, you will write as a perfect square, and it becomes y plus 5 squared. Remember, what goes inside the bracket there, when you write it as a perfect square, is the number you found there, plus 5 equals, and then you add the right-hand side, and the answer is 20. So we wrote this in center radius form, and we still need to give the coordinates of the center or the midpoint of the circle, and therefore the midpoint will be plus 3 minus 5. Example 2. Write the following in center radius form and give the coordinates of the center of the circle. There's your steps. Step 1, take the constant to the right hand side. 
therefore 16 will walk across and it becomes negative 16. Step 2, group x and y together and leave a gap. Therefore, all the terms that contain an x will go together. x squared minus 8x, leave a gap, and then plus y squared plus 12y, leave a gap. Then we will complete the square. We complete the square by using the formula b over 2 squared. In terms of x, where do I find b? It's the coefficient of x. It's the number in front of x. In this case, minus 8. Remember to take the sign with. Therefore, minus 8 over 2 squared is minus 4 squared is plus 16. Step 4, add the numbers both sides. So I will add 16 on the left hand side and 16 on the right hand side. It's this trinomial that I'm going to write as a perfect square and it becomes x minus 4 squared. What goes inside the bracket is this number you had in the bracket just before you squared it. Then we will do b over 2 squared again for in terms of y. b's value in terms of y is the coefficient of y which is plus 12. Plus 12 divided by 2 is plus 6 squared is 36. We add 36 both sides. And then it's the trinomial y squared plus 12y plus 36 that I will write as a perfect square. y plus 6 squared. And what goes inside the bracket there is the number you had together with its sign just before you squared it. Plus 6. And you add the right hand side, you end with 36. And there's your equation in center radius form. We still need to find the coordinates of the center or the midpoint. Therefore, the center's coordinate is plus 4 minus 6. Example 3. Write the following in center radius form and give the coordinates of the center of the circle. And there's your steps. Step 1. Take the constant to the right hand side. So where our constant is plus 1, it walks across, it becomes minus 1. And you will see I rearranged the terms on the left hand side. Step 2. Group all the terms that contain an x together and leave a gap. So it becomes x squared minus 4x with a gap and group all the terms that contain a y together and y squared minus 6y leave a gap. Step 3. Complete the square. We will start with b over 2 squared and b's coefficient is the coefficient in front of x is negative 4. Therefore, minus 4 over 2 squared minus 2 squared is 4. Then we will add 4 both sides on the left and on the right hand side. It's the trinomial that we're going to write as a perfect square and it becomes x minus 2 squared. What goes inside the bracket is the number that was inside the bracket just before we squared it. Then we will complete the square in terms of y. We will do b over 2 squared. Where do we find b? b is y's coefficient, negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 squared is plus 9. We will add 9 both sides to the left hand side to the right hand side. Then it's the trinomial that we will write as a perfect square and it becomes y minus 3 squared. And what goes inside the bracket is what we had inside the bracket just before we squared it. And then we add the right hand side and we end with 12. And there's your equation in center radius form. And we still need to give the coordinates of the center. Therefore, the center will be plus 2 plus 3. Example 4. Write the following in center radius form and give the coordinates of the center of the circle. 
And there's our steps. Step one, take the constant to the right hand side. So can you see on the right hand side, you also find y squared and minus 14y. So you take them to the left hand side and you take the 35 to the right hand side. Step two, group all the terms with the x's together and leave a gap. And it becomes x squared plus 2x with a gap and group the y's y squared plus 14y with a gap. Let's complete the square. Step 3. We will do b over 2 squared. Where do we find b? b is the number in front of x. x is coefficient. Plus 2 divided by 2 is plus 1 and we square it. We end with plus 1. Then we will add plus 1 both sides. There on the left and on the right. Then it's this trinomial that we will write as a perfect square and it becomes x plus 1 squared. What goes inside the bracket is the number we had inside the bracket just before we squared. Then in terms of y, let's complete the square, b over 2, where do we find b? b is y's coefficient. Plus 14 divided by 2 is 7 squared, which is 49. Now we will add 49 both sides. And then this is the trinomial that we will write as a perfect square. And it becomes y plus 7 squared. What goes inside the bracket is the number together with its sign just before we squared it. And on the right hand side is 15. There's our equation in center radius 4, and we still need to give the coordinates of the center. Therefore, the center will be negative 1, negative 7. Next example. In the diagram, M is the center of the circle having the equation, and then I give you the equation of the circle. The circle passes through R, 0, negative 4, and N, P, Q. Show that M is the point 3, negative 1. So, in fact, they want us to show them that the midpoint of the circle is 3, negative 1. So, you must know, oh, you have to do completing the square so that you can write your equation in center radius form so that you can find the midpoint. Therefore, there's the equation, and by now you know the steps. Step 1, take the constant to the right-hand side, plus 8. Step 2, group together all the x's and leave a gap. Group together all the y's and leave a gap. So we end with x squared minus 6x and a gap, plus y squared plus 2y and a gap equals 8. Now we will complete the square, so we will do b over 2 squared. Where do we find b? In front of x. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. When we square it, we end with plus 9. Then we will add plus 9 on the left-hand side and plus 9 on the right-hand side. It's this trinomial that we will write as a perfect square x minus 3 squared, and then, uh, I beg your pardon, and then we will complete the square for y. So we will do b over 2 squared, b's value is plus 2. In b's place, we substitute plus 2, 2 over 2 is 1, squared is 1, 1 squared is 1. And then we will add one both sides. Add one on the left-hand side, add one on the right-hand side. Then it's this trinomial that we will, fact, uh, we will factorize and write as a perfect square. So it becomes y plus 1 squared, and we add the right-hand side. So what was the question? Show that m is the point 3, negative 1, and m is the midpoint of the circle, Therefore, we can see it from our equation that's in center radius form. The midpoint, indeed, will be plus 3, negative 1. 
Guys, there's a message from my dog, Carosi Valentino. Now you know how to write the equation of the circle in center radius form by completing the square. Click on the video in the right hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson. There I will teach you how to work out the equation of a tangent to a circle.